Abby, and today I want to introduce you to the most amazing trainer ever. His name is Ruben, and he's one of my old friends. So I'm here with Gabby Butler. Today I'm going to show you guys some basic warm-ups, some stretches, and some basic workout routines that all you guys can do in your own home. Are you ready, Gabby? Yep. Let's go. Come on. So today we're going to start off with a few basic full body stretches that all you guys can do at your home. We're going to begin with it, putting both your feet together. We're interlocking our fingers and raising it above our head. Now we're taking a deep breath in. And as soon as we exhale, we're lowering the lower body all the way down to our feet. And we're going to remain in that position for about 15 seconds. Alrighty, if you can see, she has her hands completely flat on the ground. If you're capable of doing so, go ahead. If you can't, I recommend you still keep both of your knees together and keep them blocked as you're seeing that Gabby's performing right here. So then we're gonna transition into the next stretch. Okay, and the right foot is gonna go over the left. And we're gonna go ahead and make our way down, all the way down again. This particular stretch here will stretch out her hamstrings. And again, you wanna hold this stretch for about 15 to 20 seconds. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch legs. All the way down. There you are. And as you can see, the left leg, the leg that's crossing over, it's not locked, which is okay, but the back leg is locked. That lock is, is stretching out the whole entire hamstring. And then we're going to go ahead and transition to our next stretch. And we're going to keep both of our feet apart. And if you can focus down on her feet, you see that both of her feet are pointing straight. Now Gabby's going ahead and she's touching all the way down for another 15 to 20 second hold. And then we're going to make our way back up. So this particular stretch here, it stretches out the quadriceps, and what you're going to do is you're going to keep the left leg completely locked, and if you have great balance like Gabby Butler, you won't need a partner or a chair to hold yourself up, but if you do, you can go ahead and place your hand on someone's shoulder, just make sure they don't shake you around like this a little bit. Alrighty, now go ahead and switch legs. Now these are four basic stretches that all you guys can perform in your house. Now what we're going to do is to begin today's session, we're going to increase her heart rate and we're going to begin with a little cardio. You ready, Gab? Yep. Let's go racing. Come on. Right, let's go. <sighs> I almost beat you. So today we're going to begin our session with some cardio routines. This in particular is ladder drills. And what we're going to do, I'll go ahead and demonstrate. We're going to go ahead and put our first foot in, next foot enters, and as soon as the right enters, you go ahead and exit with the left. So it goes a little bit like this. Now, I'll have Gabby Butler go ahead and perform the drill. Now, as you can see, her leading foot is the first foot that enters. A very simple exercise. Oh, like an old lady. <laughs> All right, and we're going to go on the way back, but this time we're going to go ahead and switch our leading foot. As you can see, she's not going fast. In this particular exercise, you don't need to. There we are. Now our next drill is called a side shuffle. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna enter with the left, enter with the right, and exit with the left. So. Go ahead and get it. Now as you can see, the leading left foot is the first foot that enters the box. And again, this particular exercise does not need to be fast. Now we're going to go make our way back this way and switching our leading foot. Again, this exercise does not need to be performed with speed. <laughs> and if you guys don't have a ladder at home, a simple tape or maybe some chalk will definitely do the job. Alright, now this next particular exercise, standing one leg jumps. As you can see, her hands are swinging in motion as she's jumping up. Now she's going to perform the same exercise using the opposite leg. There you are. Now this next exercise, very similar, but we're just going to transition with our feet. As you can see, she's not jumping too high. You don't need to. Form is more important than speed. Great job, Gabby. 
Now, we only performed this exercise for a few seconds, but at your house, I want you to do it for at least 60 seconds. Are you all warmed up? You ready to go? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Come on. Now, what we're about to perform are four basic core routine exercises that you can perform in your house. Gabby's going to go ahead and demonstrate about four or five reps, but at home, I want you to do about 15 to 20 reps and go ahead and complete three sets. Now, this first one, very simple. You can see she's going to go ahead and crunch in. As she's crunching, her lungs are decreasing in size for her to be able to contract a little tighter. All right, and our next exercise is a little like this. Very simple. You can do this sitting in a chair in your house. Now what she's going to do is perform in and out. As you can see, her ankles are locked, and she's going in and out, nice and slow. Again, very basic, and I want you to do about 15 to 20 reps. Our next exercise, this exercise particularly should be performed with the bike. Just have your friend throw your bikes down. While your legs are being thrown, you want to make sure that the knees are locked and the ankles are locked as well. Now you don't want to push down too, too hard, just a little bit. And our next exercise. This one's a hard she doesn't like these too much. Now these are called twists. She's angling her body so she's keeping all the tension on her core while twisting in the motion to increase her heart rate and lower her body fat percent. There you are. Great job. Now let's go on to the next routine. Now this next routine is for conditioning and for stability. I'm going to have Gabby perform again three or four reps, but in your house, I want you to perform about 15 to 20. So go ahead, Gabby. As you can see, she's not moving too fast, which you don't need to be. Yep, and down. Okay, great job. Now these next two exercises are what I have Gabby do mainly for her stability. Now what she's going to do, She's going to go ahead and hop on the ball. She's not going to bend her knees until she feels completely stabilized. But once she feels stabilized, she's going to go ahead and hold this position for about 10 to 15 seconds. As you can see, she has both of her arms out, enabling her to balance herself. And while she's performing this exercise, she's squeezing her core, which is engaging all the muscles throughout her whole entire body. And great job. On to the next exercise. Now this exercise, I have her perform with one leg, again, to build her stability. As she's performing this exercise, she's keeping the opposite leg completely straight while squeezing the core to engage every single mu muscle in her abdominal cavity. Now go ahead and switch legs, Gabby. Again, nice and slow. There you are. Now again, the opposite leg is completely straight and while she's performing this exercise, I'm having her squeeze her core and that enables her to balance and keep herself stabilized. Now let's go ahead and show them the last exercise, Gabby. Now this exercise here is performed with a resistant band. And what I have her do is I have her keep both of her legs completely straight. And the only thing that's moving is her hips. By doing so, she's engaging her obliques and the core as well. And what she's doing is she's keeping both of her feet pointed forward and her knees are slightly bent. Again, we're only performing a couple just to demonstrate, but in your house, I would like you to do about 15 to 20 and give me about two or three sets. There you are, give me one more. Oh, that last one killed. <laughs> there you are, great job, Gabby. Come on, okay. let's go over to the next one. Now this next exercise are called tire flips. Tire flips in particular will work out your whole entire body. And I'm gonna have Gabby demonstrate a few for you with proper form. Now go ahead, Gabby. As you can see, she's lifting with her legs and she's not lifting with her back. As soon as she comes up in this position, she's gonna go ahead and tilt the tire over. And she's gonna go ahead and continue until she gets a good burn in her shoulders until her legs can't take it anymore. Keep going. Last one. All right. This next exercise consists of rope routines, and what I'm going to have Gabby do is demonstrate four particular routines that can be performed in your own home. Now, what I'm going to have her start off with are individuals. Go ahead, Gabby. As you can see, she's keeping her knees bent. 
and by doing so, she's keeping her tension all in the lower body. Now she alternates her hands. Again, this exercise is individuals and one arm at a time. There you are. As you can see, again, she's keeping her knees slightly bent, keeping all the tension on her lower body. Now we're gonna transition into doubles. Now what I'm having Gabby do, but don't worry about how many reps you can do. Just worry about how many you can do in a matter of 60 seconds. Again, if this exercise does not need to be performed fast, just with perfect form. Now this last exercise, what I'm having Gabby do are called reverse jumping jacks. Again, working out her whole entire upper body. There we are. Now remember, this exercise, do not perform it fast, to see how many you can, perfect ones, you can do in a matter of 60 seconds. And one, great job, Gabby. How do you thank feel? You. I'm a little bit tired. Yeah, as you should be. I wanna thank you all so much for tuning in and watching our in-home workout routine videos. And thank you guys so much for watching our video and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that button, you guys. Let's go get some water, Gab. If you'd like to see more crazy and fun things that we're going to do, just be sure to click that subscribe button and stay tuned.